How are you? Today I will be doing a short video showing you all how to go about changing the battery inside the computer. Yes, the computer has a battery which holds the time and date. If that battery gets weak each time you boot the computer it would ask you to put in the time and date or it would tell you your time and date is incorrect which you would have to set it each time you boot up the computer to change that battery you disconnect all the cables behind the computer every one of them you disconnect it just to be on the safe side the computer would have either a thumb screw they call these thumb screws or ordinary screws you remove it and you Pull the piece. You put the computer by doing that with one hand. You pull the put the computer to lie down and right here you pull that and you lift the keys now this is an old cpu which i am using for demonstration purposes once you put the computer to lie down the battery is located on the right hand side it's always on the right hand side this is the battery the battery is CR2032 CR2032 to remove that battery you take a screwdriver first <clears throat> before you enter the computer when you remove the case you disconnect all your cables you remove your case first thing to do before you enter inside of that chassis you touch the chassis that is to discharge a static electricity from your body make sure you touch the chassis your body has static electricity and there is a possibility you go into the computer and touch anything and you burn it so again disconnect all your cables put the computer upright the back facing you all computers the panel on the right hand side is the one that's coming out not the left the right hand side panel is the one that's coming out once you take out the two screws either thumb screws or ordinary phillips screws you put the computer to lie down you touch the chassis of the computer the battery in the computer is always on the right hand side i would say the bottom close to the bottom of the computer to the right hand side when you touch the chassis of the computer you discharge the electricity in your body then you get a screwdriver or anything you have and 
there is a clip right here that's the clip right here you move it back the battery flies out you take out the battery <clears throat> that's what the battery looks like when replacing the battery that's the battery holder when replacing the battery the plus sign this is the plus sign must always be at the top this side is the minus side you put the battery in it has a slot here or a slot right here you put the battery beneath that slot which it's in a groove and you press gently you hold the click that means the battery is seated again to remove the CMOS battery it's a CMOS battery which holds the time and the date for the computer and any settings you may set in the BIOS you put your screwdriver on this little lever at the back of the battery you press it the battery flies up or pops up you take your battery and you replace it remember the battery is CR2032 then <clears throat> when you change the battery you put it in and you just press slightly when you have done that you would connect first you would put your cover back connect all your wires to the system and then boot your system once you have booted your system it will ask you to set your date and time once you have done that everything is good to go if you have done any changes to your bias any changes to your bias you would have to do these changes back if you're not the one who did the changes you'd have to call a technician or the person who did the changes for you to set up your bias the computer once you remove the battery it would go back to factory setting And even though you change the time and date, it may boot, but it would give you, it would boot with errors. So this is the way to go about changing your computer battery, which is a CMOS. It holds the time and date. Once that battery is weak, and you power up your computer you would have to change the time and date each time it may tell you press f1 to skip the whole setup you press f1 it would boot up but once it boot up you won't be able to do anything because the time and date would be incorrect you change your battery to resolve that problem if you find this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. Thank you.